All right, so I've been over here in the coop, studying it, trying to figure out exactly where I want to put my door placement, where I want to put my windows for ventilation. <laughs> Gotta show you guys something. Bam, look at there. Told y'all I was going to get my bike fixed up. Got my basket, got my mirror, and guess what? Got my trailer. <laughs> oh yeah. Now we're ready. Now I'm ready to do some farming on my bike. <laughs> oh man, super stoked about it though. Really, really stoked. Good morning, fellas. Good morning, fellas. Good morning, sunshine. What's up, Kill? What's up, Scott? How's everybody? Can't hear. <laughs> Look, there's the mallard clan in there in the goat pen. What you doing, sunshine? What you doing, sunshine? Huh? What you doing? Let's feed this motley crew. Big C, how'd you get stuck in that? All right, let's calm this. The alarm system down this morning. So today when we get through doing chores, we're gonna head back to the 40 and continue working on the chicken coop. That's right, these girls have gotta have somewhere to live. Yes, and we are working on that form. Big ACDC, we're working on y'all's coop, guys. Yes, we are. That one's good. That one's good. We're missing a feeder. I took it in there. Okay. She had some little ones. That's right. I forgot that she had put those uh dark brahmas in here. Their feeder's good. I must say I am very, very proud and impressed and everything about how that new coop's turning out. It is going way smoother than I anticipated and turning out way better than I anticipated. I really love the way that thing's turning out. You know what, I honestly think in the next couple of weeks, we will maybe have y'all's fencing set up. That's what I'm thinking. All right, girls. There's your hay. Let's get the boys. Back it up. Put the alarm on. Beep, beep. Back it up. Back it up. That's a good idea. Putting your egg baskets over there by the coop. Loki. What's up, Loki and Sylvie? What's going on? Mr. Tip. Got Big Joe in the back. And Mr. Topper right there. Get them this hay this morning. Hey guys, I was just telling the girls, I'm thinking in the next couple of weeks, we may have y'all fencing set up. Y'all may be moving soon. Yes, sir. I know they're going to love that when they get out there at the 40. All that room. Not quite for sure how big I'm going to make their paddocks, but uh, I'll be doing that really, really soon. Measuring and figuring out where we're going to put them. What's up, boss lady? Yeah, we're going to go over to the 40 and try to get a bunch done on the coop today. I can see that you are really interested in that. <laughs> I know that's on your mind. Oh, me. Oh, Peach. Peaches, you something else, girl. 
Oh, Nugget, what'd you do? You get stuck? You look like you got stuck there for a second. Clean my boots. Clean my boots. Clean my boots. Yes, sir. Clean the boots. See what Tommy's doing. Tommy! What's up, Tommy? What's up, buddy? Look at Thomas strutting his stuff this morning. Hey, Thomas, we got about... Let's see. We got about a month and a half, man, and we're going to be moved. Yeah. So not much longer, man. Not much longer at all. Once we get out to the 40, and y'all know Tommy will have his own place. Big own place. So just buying our time just a little bit uh, just a little bit longer and Thomas and his clan will be in a much bigger area just don't want nothing to happen to him in between now and then good morning ACDC what's going on I see you and your girls over here this morning y'all y'all we working on that new coop hopefully be ready here directly fingers crossed or in your case toes crossed speaking of toes y'all look at this thing I have no idea what this obsession is but this is all he wants to do right here I don't know what you're doing nugget did you get eggs this morning already? He did. Yeah, alright. So all the chores are done? Yeah, you have a friend. I know he was just obsessed with my boots. I mean just obsessed with them. I don't know what that Muscovy's doing. Everywhere he goes, he goes ninety miles an hour. He had to flash his wings. Gonna let you out. Uh, you can let me out here, I'm going the other side. Got me? So we can uh we can load up, get everything we need. I think we're gonna need the compressor today. Yeah, probably so. Because we're gonna be doing some stapling, stapling some hardware cloth on. Are you gonna do any work? We ought to bring Nugget with us. Reckon he can do anything. What do you think, Mike? Bite, bite my boots. <laughs> he wouldn't hold no hammer or nothing, would he? <laughs> oh my gracious. He might try to tote it off. We're talking about you. We are talking about you. He knows it. He absolutely knows it. All right. Woo! This, uh, what's that? Duck feather. What kind? Mallard. It's a mallard feather. It's got mm. blue on it. It's pretty. Very, very pretty. And don't be careful what you say. She thinks when you say something's pretty, that means she could have ten more. Oh, gracious. I don't want any more mallards. You don't want any more mallards? No. Done oh, with I mallards. All right, well, let's load up All everything right. and you head over to the for that? 40 and start working on that chicken coop and hopefully get the wall put up and get the windows, uh, the, the windows, the hardware cloth put on the windows. <laughs> and if we can get that done today, that'd be awesome. That would be awesome. That would be That's awesome. That's a lot done, though. It is in a lot. One day. Ain't that right, Foxy? Look at hmm? Where's Foxy? <laughs> Hydrangeas are about to the end of there. Yeah, the hydrangeas are. They were beautiful, though. This was the prettiest year of them, I think. All the rain we got probably ended up hurting it a little bit there at the end. But oh, look at here. Another spider. Do you know that the one is still in the driveway? It's still there. Still there. I don't know if I can focus in on this one or not. Maybe so. We call them garden spiders. You're right, Justin. Look right here. Another one? See it? It's bigger than that one. Oh, it is. It's much bigger. This so we under. He, uh, he had him a bug right there. He was munching on. We're going to let him be. Yeah, we're going to let him be. We call them garden spiders. What you know, are they actually called? I don't know. I thought you may know. You don't know? Hey, Tuck Tuck. This mm. is where, that's where the feather came from. Oh, that's our mallard clan oh, right there. Yeah. And that one black and white duck that hangs with them. Uh huh. It's she's a call duck, isn't she's it? She's a bibbed mallard. A bibbed mallard. I, you know, I thought it was a darn call duck. Well, I have I a too. little. I have two call ducks. There's a little white one with uh -huh. black spots. She's actually a mix, and there's a little black one that's okay. full blooded. There goes Hardy. What's up, Hardy? What's up, buddy? Before 
we get started on the chicken coop, cutting the windows and doors out, let's go check on the pigs here on the 40. Come on, buddy. <laughs> let's go check on those pigs. After you, sir. As you can see, starting to do a good little number to it. Off. <clears throat> yes, sir. And the pigs are looking wonderful. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? Check out their feed. Put some feed in there this morning. Alright Arlo, let's don't get in the mud. I don't want you in the mud. We got the pigs done. Yeah. Got the food. The water was okay. The water looks good. I got my nice little mud spa here. Y'all can see how big they're getting. Getting pretty big. Long legged. Alright, come on Lolo. Get started on this chicken coop all right so i've been over here in the coop studying it trying to figure out exactly where i want to put my door placement where i want to put my windows for ventilation and number one i'm out here in the full sun and it's way cooler in this coop versus out here in the sun way cooler but i started wondering how this thing was made and set up and it's got these metal ribs or metal studs 16 on center pretty much all the way around and so that's the support system of this trailer then it's got this paneling in here and then down here is a thick uh, I haven't measured but it feels like one inch three quarter inch one inch tongue and groove plywood here and all this really was for to protect the outside because this was a utility trailer. Now, I got several options I can do here. And as y'all know, then I've said this many a time, I am not a carpenter at all. Uh, I just figure stuff out and pretty much am a redneck and you know, the way I do things probably isn't the proper way to do things, especially with stuff like this. So my, my plan is to take this top paneling piece off because you can see it's right here. It's this piece goes all the way down, comes out, goes all the way down. I'm gonna pull this off. And then I'm gonna cut out a two foot opening here in between the studs all the way down. Then I'll come back and frame it with uh, two by fours. And then I'm going to staple the metal to the two by four. And that will be the ventilation. I'm gonna leave this wall alone because this is gonna be the roost wall. This is gonna be where they roost. So we're gonna leave this wall alone. So I think I got it figured out. Now this back wall, haven't told you about that, is I'm going to stud it out. This is going, we're gonna put the door here and then we're gonna make this all hardware cloth. So this will be completely open. So there'll be a, just plenty of ventilation in here. We have super mild winters here, so I'm not worried about the cold at all. All right, let's get started. Well, I, I really need to get this floor screwed down first. Then we'll start on this. All right, got all the screws down. We are good to go on the floor. All right, now we got the, the paneling off. Our next step is to try to get this garage door out. It is really dangerous. As y'all saw in the last video, y'all didn't see it, y'all heard us talking about it. Yeah, almost had a bad situation with it. Cut this track out and see if we can get this thing just to come out in one piece and do away with this door. 
because it is it's a lot of weight and it needs to be gone <laughs> for safety reasons. I need two legs. Yeah, you need two legs. For now, anyway. <laughs> oh, I see you got your hair in the ponytail. Hey, baby. You can do that without the nugget. I can, but I didn't think I had one on the way over here. Uh huh. Then I realized there was one hanging on the gear shifter. Somebody said in the last video, or one of the last videos, that uh, you ought to wear the ponytail hat. See, it's my ears that are exposed. Oh, uh, okay. And I can't have my ears exposed. Yeah. So if my hair's up, first it's the ponytail, then it's the ears. I got so you. Good idea, though. Good idea. All right. I'll raise the tractor bucket up a little okay. bit so we won't be shifting Do back. I need to go look? No. Don't see me flying. <laughs> don't see me flying. That's good. Hey, Carl said that's good. If uh, if, if somebody don't know, this is their first time watching this. This is like a big seesaw <laughs> because the axle's in the middle. So when we get on the back, it goes back like a seesaw and we go to the front. It all goes to the front, and that's what happened with this door. We both were back here, and this door came crashing down, and you were actually laying sideways, kind of with your leg like right here. It was it was literally that close. Yeah, it was inches. All right, well, we're fixing to crank that generator rater up. And I'm going to crank it up and you do the cut. I'm going to cut that. this thing out. That'll work. I think it'll come down one at a time. That's what I'm thinking. I don't like my word think, but don't try to hold it. Death trap. Death trap. Out. Out of the death trap. So yeah. our next step's gonna be to cut out some ventilation holes for some windows. Correct. And we've got them marked as to which ones are going. The X. The X. So we're gonna cut a hole there, cut a hole here, here, there, there. So five. Next up is cutting out holes. Breeze. 
Nice. Look at the wind blowing through it. Wow. And that's just one. That's just one. Hey, that's a pretty that's a pretty good square you got there. I, that's not bad with a uh, cutoff wheel cattywampus. Free handed, <laughs> ain't it? That's not bad. I've done way worse. That's for sure. I think it'll work. I like cutting that aluminum way better than I do that steel. That aluminum don't throw out no sparks. Steel spark you up, doesn't it? It is spark you up. All right, you think frame one, or you think go on and cut them all out first? I think we cut them all out first. That's what I think. I think we can get the two by four behind there now, Jason. Just cut it all out. Feel some breeze? Yeah, it's this. It's this coming too. It is. Mm -hmm. Five of them's really gonna make a difference. It's gonna make a big difference. All right, let's get it marked up. Let's get it marked up. Get you something to drink. I'm getting it right now. Y'all look at here. Look at there. Got windows all the way across. Look how much brighter it made it in here. W breeze is coming through. And it's going to be good. Be perfect. Make Carl's excited. She is excited. I could tell. She was really she excited. She comes over and checks it out and goes back to the camper. She stayed here a long time this last she time. She did. I think she, she even, got hot. She even had her earplugs in while I was cutting this metal. It gets pretty loud. It does. I'm glad to have that done. That was a big step. Yeah, that is. That's huge. Man, that looks, that's great. I think the floor and the windows was the two biggest things. And now we, you, me and you think together, and you were trying to figure out how to put the metal on the outside and just take a trim piece, because we were going to try to frame this up on the inside and staple the metal to it, because we, we needed something wood to staple the metal to. And you were to say, what if we screwed it from the outside? And I said, well, the heads are the screws. And then a light bulb went off on me like it did you. And I said, won't we rivet it? And we could just rivet the hardware cloth on there and then take probably a one by four trim or some type of trim, two by two. It doesn't have to be anything fancy just to cover that rough yeah. edge. We could just trim it out. And we can build those off. You know, just build five frames. Yeah. Build them off, you know, on mm -hmm. the ground and then instead of trying to put it up there right. and cut it each one and then screw it on there and we're good to go that's right i tell you something funny what's that we were saying as we were cutting it out that it looked like a school bus yeah <laughs> mary carl was over here and we were like thinking of names you know well i told her i said look we can paint it yellow and i said because it looks like a school bus the windows are the size of a school bus and that uh we could paint a front windshield on it maybe with some drivers in it or something and we're not going to cut any windows out on this side because this is going to be the roosting wall. And we could paint black windows to match this side and paint the whole thing yellow. And we were trying to think a name of it. And I said the cluck bus. Mary Carl said Cog County Schools. <laughs> Cog County Schools. I thought that was hilarious. Oh, me Cog so. County Schools. If we do paint it yellow, we're going to put Cog County Schools well, on the side yes, of it. Well, yes, we are. <laughs> Cog County Schools. Oh, my gracious. That's awesome. It is so funny. Next up is we're fixing to build our back wall. We're going to stud out a wall. We're going to use this stud here. We're going to go all the way up. We're going to come over, down, build us a wall here, and put that door in the center. Sounds like a plan to you. Sounds like one. So the first thing you got to do is cut that old track out, right? Yeah, I got to cut that track out. I'm about tired of cutting this metal. I know you are, but maybe that'll be the last piece. <laughs> I hope it is the last. And that's the door frame, isn't it? This is the door frame in the back wall. I will put a, I'm probably yelling, put a hardware cloth on it. Yeah, put hardware cloth here, put a door in the center, put mm -hmm. hardware cloth on the other side, and this will be our emergency exit. <laughs> For the bus. For the bus. <laughs> I'm about to see some kind of cook of and ask them what they're having for dinner. Who? Some kind of cook. 
It's supper time. <laughs> Think we'd get this much done? I didn't think so. And we've got this screen door that we had left over from our house, one that we planned on replacing. Yeah, right here. In our front. And we actually just never got around to it, so. And also, this wood is scrap wood that you picked up from a house site in Birmingham, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a, it was on the side of the road. <laughs> I mean, it was a long time ago. This it was, was pre-COVID. Yeah, way, well, yeah. There's and my there's... pile that we have left. So all the lumber <laughs> we've used today has been scrap, and we've got more. The only cost we got in it is this floor. Floor. And hardware cloth that'll be used for the windows that we bought on clearance. Eight dollars a roll on clearance at Lowe's. So uh, it was, was regular twenty-eight. Twenty-eight dollars a roll. So we bought all they had because we know there's more coops in our future. Yeah, we're gonna be building a lot more coops. So we got a little bit of expense in the floor, but for the most part, it's a scrap coop. This is awesome. Oh, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a school bus to remember. Well, we say it last time we was on here. I love it when a plan comes together. I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. I think well, our, our generator ran out of gas, so that's one reason why we stopped. We probably would have finished the wall completely out. Um, we're going to run another brace in here to kind of brace it that way. And we're probably going to double one of these up because it's just barely from being 24 inches. Yeah, and the, our... the hardware cloth that we found on sale was two foot, so we're making everything work with two foot increments. Yeah. This so is a little bit more than two foot, but we're, once we double it up, we'll have enough space to I agree. come back and add our hardware call. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm whooped. I'm whooped, too. All right, so I guess we got to load our tools up. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to start bringing them. Bring them on. If you'll put them up in here. I'll bring them on. If you've not checked out our podcast channel where we go into depth about what's happening here on the farm, laugh, have a good time, talk about the ins and outs of everything here in our lives, check that out i'll put a link to it right over here and a video over here that i think you may like and as always y'all be good